Well, hello and welcome back to another incredible video. In this video, we are jumping full bore into fall and I am giving you three DIYs featuring pumpkins. So let's jump into it. So for DIY number one, I am grabbing an old cutting board. I don't know about you guys, but I usually buy a new one pretty much around this time of year, um, every year. And then I switch out one of my old ones. And I decided to use that for this DIY because um, it's just wood, right? Um, so I go ahead and stain that with some antique wax by Waverly. Um, and then I get some pumpkins and I only required, I think, what? two, three for this, uh, and I go ahead and I cut those in half and get those glued down to my board. You will then see me come through and do a little, you know, a little floral embellishment um, at the top of my pumpkins to give my sign a little something something, um, and then I will come through and spell out the word fall and embellish that with a few beads. Um, so let me let you watch this as it comes together. So I'm trying a little something different um, in my videos where I just kind of lay out what I'm doing uh, but don't give a full play by play. Make sure to comment if you guys like this version or if you prefer the full play by play version in your videos. So now I come through with one of those genius hacks, in my personal opinion, um, and that is I am using one of those dog toys, like a rope dog toy from the Dollar Tree as my handle. And I really loved this toy simply because of the colors that were in it and I feel like it went really well and complemented this piece. So for DIY number two, this one is so cute and so simple to me. I'm just using one of those square wooden boxes from the Dollar Tree. I give it a coat of, a, of, of course, Waverly Antique Wax. Um, and then I have had these pumpkin coasters that I got at Hobby Lobby when they went on sale. Um, and I just distress them a little bit with some white paint because um, as is, they were just a little plain for me. Um, and then I go ahead and get those glued down to the sides of my box. After that, I get to work and I try my hand, as I have been doing this season, at a floral arrangement. And you guys will see how this comes together.
So for DIY number three, I'm just using some of those kind of wooden paddles, if you will. Again, got these on sale at Hobby Lobby. And I'm using a couple of foam pumpkins that I had both thrifted and purchased. And I basically start by creating a kind of three pumpkin stack on one of my paddles. And I just glue those half pumpkins down. Of course, I had to saw them in half. <laughs> which is always a, a feat because of the, the styrofoam. Um, and then afterwards, I just lay down some letters on the other paddles, which is, uh, I used an F and then two L's because the pumpkin stack is acting as my A. Um, and I tried a couple different types of letters. Um, the first ones I tried, I didn't really like, um, but I ultimately settled on some white letters. Um, and then you will see me kind of distress the paddle piece. Um, and that is it. I will add a little bit of a tumbling tower block to the back of each uh, paddle, if you will, so that this piece stands. Um, and I will let you guys watch as this comes together. I'm really loving how each of these pieces has turned out. It's a little bit different than some of the fall pieces I've done in the past, but I really love the way that these are screaming fall to me. Make sure to comment which one of these is your favorite. Well, as always, I cannot thank you guys enough for watching. We very much so appreciate you here. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And of course, we invite you to come back, hang out, and be okay with us.